Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Tab back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new Pink Diamond Julius Irving gameplay. I'm Dr. J. Now, before we dive any further into that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. Also, massive shout out to my guy Cole World for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. Julius Irving, 6'6", 200 pounds, 94 three ball is crazy. 95 driving deck, 86 ball handle. Defensively, he's okay. 80 block, 89 steal, 90 perimeter, decent enough interior at a 74. Rebounding stats, 80s across the board, 94 speed, 90 speed ball, 94 acceleration, as well as that 90 lateral quickness. Tendency-wise for Julius, 99 driving. Doug tendency, defense tendencies are important, and he has pretty good ones all across the board. None of the favorites catch you, fearless finisher, Agabat, Lob City finisher, Postrizer, also comes with Limitless and Sniper on Hall of Fame. 39 on gold, corner specialist, glue hands, pickpocket, pick dodger, chase artist, clips, intimidator, does get ties, fender, blinders, chef, all the shooting badge you could want, quick first step, space creator, tight end, a puck, will dead eye, stop, pop, bullet faster, ankle braces, menace, as well as Hustler. Now, you're going to want to apply Interceptor to him, as you guys can see here. Uh, I think that's one of the badges he did put on him was Interceptor as well as Unpluckable. Some other badges you might want to look. Obviously, Interceptor is the main one that I'm going to tell you guys to look to put on. But some other ones you might want to put on Dr. J. Hot Zone Hunter Handles for Days are the main ones that I see for Dr. J that really catch my eye. Rim Protector, Hyperdrive, Ankle Breaker are some other ones that you can look at giving the man with the plan. So the first red flag I'm going to talk about is if somebody has base dribble style. Now, Julius Irving has slash your dribble style which a lot of people do will never hype up everybody just thinks okay slasher is not good it's a lot better than base let me tell you guys so base dribble style is terrible i don't mind slasher slash is a little worse than power in my opinion but it's fine slasher dribble style is fine on dr j release wise i mean i i don't want to sit here and say it's a test uh, one of the best releases in the game but if you miss with dr j it's really your fault and to go along with that his release is pretty quick. I, I early that one, but overall, his release is pretty quick. I don't think it's going to be too hard to green, but it's really quick. And that's kind of a good thing that, that I like about Dr. J, right? He comes with a 94 three ball. By the time you put a coach on him, it's at least a 98, probably a 99 uh, with some coaches. And so that's the thing that you got to think about, right? If you get him a 99 three ball, Hall of Fame sniper, Hall of Fame range, are you ever going to miss with this card? Like, if you got Hall of Fame Limitless, I'm early with everything, but if you got Hall of Fame Limitless spotter, you got a 99 three ball, are you ever legitimately going to miss with Dr. J? I don't know if I have an answer to that question. I kind of want to see what his drifter looks like, but, I mean, this car just looks inc incredible on the offensive end of the court. Defensively, is he going to leave a little bit to be desired? Maybe, but his player model looks really solid. And a, a lot of people are hyping up Jimmy Butler, and deservedly so in this set. But I feel like a lot of people are just sleeping on this Julius card, who I think is going to be maybe just as good. If I could time dunks, I would personally be a lot better. But that's the thing that I'm seeing right now is that Julius Irving is going to be able to attack the rim. We know that. He's going to be able to shoot the ball way better than I initially thought he would. Combine that with a player model that looks extremely long. The only other question marks I have are what are his full court dribble six? And then exactly what type of defense are you going to get from Julius Irving? Full court dribble sticks aren't great, but I mean, it's part of it. I've never been one of the biggest Dr. J fans in, in, in the game. I just haven't. And I don't know. I don't necessarily have an answer to why I haven't been. I've just never been that high on Dr. J in past years. And it's just part of it. I think part of it was because he was a lock in one time as well as some other things. But I've never been that high on it. But this Dr. J, I don't know if it's his wingspan but he just looks absolutely massive and you guys can can tell me if i'm wrong but look at him tell me the dude does not look massive on court right now combine that he i mean you got a 94 three ball tell me why dr j or tell, tell me honestly guys tell me why i should not be high on dr j that's what i'm interested in forget why i should be high on it tell me why i shouldn't be high on it i mean that's the real question offensively speaking name a better shooting guard maybe outside of clay thompson in the game clay thompson james harden and you can make the case Dr. J, because of how good of a shooter he is and his player build, is better than, you know, those types of guys. So I think what we got to really get into, right, the specifics of it is, is Dr. J going to make enough plays offensively, even with the slasher dribble style, to stay on the court? 
You guys know I ran Vince for the longest time with Slash and Triple Style. And honestly, Dr. J is just reminding me of a better version of what that Vince Carter card was. I mean, a really good release, gonna be solid enough on defense, good at attacking the rim, gonna get some contact dunks probably. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I was that high on this Vince, but I mean, Dr. J is looking like a hooper right now. We're gonna take out a lot of new cards into clutch time to start it off today. My opponent here does not have the best squad in the game. I'm just gonna get that out of the way because I'm I don't want anybody in my comments being like Ty, you didn't play uh, you didn't play anybody that could actually hoop. So just wanna throw that out there. My opponent obviously does not have a very good squad, but Dr. J going to the line already in this game. Even compared to Jimmy Butler, y'all can be the judge. I think Dr. J looks taller. I mean, or looks at least longer, right? If you don't think you know he looks taller, y'all can't even y'all can't lie. He looks longer. Look at look at Goat Bill. Look at Goat Bill. Uh oh. Uh oh. Back up, man. That re oh, shot. The reason I shot it early, I always do that. Yo, Bill Russell, can we pass the ball? It's the Ty Debo recipe, man. Expect after 250, my first shot, uh, you know, the, the following day to be an early, probably. Just the way it's going to be. Perfect. That was smooth. I could tell that one was smooth. Yes, sir. That's a good shot, Dr. J. In comp type level games, it's going to be easier to get off. And that's an important factor, man. Bail board, bail. Good D. No way you shot that thing. You missed the open? This game is crazy. I, I'm sorry, but this game is just crazy to me. Dame time. Imagine leaving him. Dame Lillard doing what he does in the fourth. It's a great pass. That's a great pass to Jimmy Butler. What Slash Dribble Style is going to do, is it a good three hunting dribble style? No. But attacking the rim, you're going to be fine. Like, he's going to be able to attack the rim decently well. I mean, it's just the way it's going to be. And you guys are seeing shooting-wise in the pure catch-and-shoot situation, it's going to be tough. Good D, Jimmy. Good D, Jimmy. Run. There you go. That's the one I wanted to see right there. What is, what is his moving shot like? Super quick. That one was at least. This is kind of a flood and Dr. J's got 13 points. So he, he playing well. Obviously my opponent's team's not great. We know that, but he playing well. Oh my goodness. Jimmy Hall of Fame interceptor. I see you four. Dr. J on the break for four. Oh yeah, board run. What you gonna do? Leave him again? You gonna leave Dr. J again? You're gonna leave that, you better. You better not, uh-oh. Come on, stop. Oh, God, I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I, I really thought I greened that one right there. Board. Oh yeah, Dr. J, run. I know you're probably out of sharp take, so let's get you a quick one. Dang, man, he be hacking. Okay, Bill. Okay, Bill, I see you from the corner, Bill. Julia's got to be unselfish, man. We're, we're up 17 right now, which is crazy. But Julia's got to be unselfish. Or, or thank you, Ron. Is Jimmy Butler at the three with Dr. J at the two, the meta? Is, that's so hard to contest on the break. Uh-oh. Back to him. I mean, in the catch and shoot situation with Hall of Fame Sniper, you literally will not miss with Dr. J. Even if you don't green a lot of your shots. Let's say you're bad at green. Oh, good. He's got Hall of Fame sniper for you. This is just an absolute flood. We won by 21 in clutch time, and Dr. J had 23 points on 10 shot attempts. We're going to head into triple threat online with the three new guys, Bill, Julius, and Jimmy. My opponent here has a decent enough squad. I see Eric Snow. Let I see Jaron Jackson snow, Jr. I see, uh, I see Jalen Brown in my corner. Like, it's smooth. It's really smooth, but that's my fault. That's so me. Okay, good. Julius run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chill. I ain't even tried for that. That's fine. Three's better anyway. Just relax, though. Right, it's my fault. 
I need a bucket here so you don't get cold, though. And I shot it early. Like, the early's not even... Green, I don't even care. Yo, this is ugly. It's ugly. He, how is he not cold? I don't know. Maybe it's because he got that one fluke steal. But this has been an ugly start. And I can't even sit here and say it's Dr. J's fault. Yes, Dr. J is probably out of his comfort zone being that primary ball handler. I agree with that. Thank you. That's going in. I mean, it's going to go in with Sniper. Oh, yeah. Now you got Jimmy on you. You had a chance when Dr. J was guarding you. Now that Jimmy's on you, good luck doing anything. Good luck doing anything now that Jimmy's on you. And, yup, hitting him for three is green nearly every single time. It's, it's so tough. Because, yes, Jimmy gives you something completely different than Jack, Dr. J. But if you put Jimmy on ball, tell your opponent good luck, man. That's all I can say. Uh-oh. Run. That's not... I promise you it's... Oh, my goodness. Bill is horsing right now. Like, slash or dribble style is good for one thing. And that thing I'm not really trying to do right now is get to the rim. Like, I'm not trying to get to the rim. Maybe I'm just going to get to the rim right here. I'm just, I'm tired of not being able to get to the rim. So, here we go. I'm getting to the rim and putting you in the rim. Oh, my goodness. And I missed it, of course. Yeah, you shot that on Jimmy is crazy. Great. Thank you, Dr. J. Finally. Look at Big Bill. Y'all's board. Stop leaving him. Stop leaving him. I'm telling y'all, in the catch and shoot situation, he's not the one to leave. He not. There's other people y'all could probably leave. Dr. J is not the one. Now, I know, I know what y'all gonna say, Ty. You didn't even play well with Dr. J. What do y'all wanna say? I might have not, but I, how many times did I get a wide open catch and shoot? Look, he cannot really handle the ball that well. And I'll tell you why. For Dr. J, there's a big difference between the 75th and the other one. And the big difference is the playmaking badges, right? You probably were wondering, well, Ty, why they couldn't Dr. J really create? Well, here's the problem. Let's look at the badges he lacks playmaking-wise. Just playmaking, let's look at it. Handles for days. Big one right there to start it off. Go to the next one. Handles for days. Quick chain. Not as important now, but still decently important. Hyperdrive. Ankle breaker. Those are four big badges that Dr. J lacks. I mean, that, that you're going to want on the card. So, Interceptor is definitely a defensive badge to put on it. But after that, I mean, you might, if you really want to handle the ball with him a lot, focus on those playmaking badges. You guys saw how knocked down he was in the catch and shoot game. I think these four are your top four shooting guards. You got Julius Irving, Jimmy Butler, Clay Thompson, and James Harden. I'd go Clay, Jimmy, Julius Harden right now. That is subject to change, but right now, that is my opinion. Let me know your opinion and thoughts down below in the comments. I like Dr. J overall better than Jimmy. I just am not quite sure. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.